Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing part three, the final part of set up your lightning web component developer tools. Um, in this video, we're going to be analyzing the code that we just copy pasted from our trailhead instructions and we're going to be fixing it and we're going to make it work. So let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, so we want to open up our Visual Studio Code. Again, I would recommend having side by side your trailhead instructions with your Visual Studio Code, just so then you can read it and, and just do it right away and not have to toggle back and forth. That's what we're going to do. That's what I'm showing right now. So let's go ahead and go into our JS file. And you can see right here, we've got this little track squiggly line we've got a few issues with it. And you can go ahead and see what the issues are, but we're just gonna fix it. So we're gonna go by this lightning element. Oops, we're gonna go comma, track. Hit enter. And yeah, that that fixed it. That fixed both of our issues. And you can see this little red right here went away. There are no errors. So I just hit command save to save it. And that's what we're going to do for that part. All right. And then we're going to go in and fix our HTML errors. So this one's a little bit trickier. We're going to go into our HTML file. You can either go here or you can go up here. Oh, this is not our HTML file. That's our HTML file. All right, and we've got a little squiggly lines right here. So let's go ahead and see. We're gonna go right in between our braces. And then we're gonna go control space and hit contacts. Now you can see the red for each went away, but now we have errors with our div. And then what we're gonna do here is key equals bracket contact dot ID. All right, and just validate that the code over here looks like that. I would suggest not copy pasting it, I would actually suggest reading it over and reading what happened. But anyways, I'm going to control save our code. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to deploy it. And I think this is probably one of the most like important things to learn is how to deploy your code. So we're going to go command shift P, focus terminal, hit enter. I can see it happen down here into our terminal. And then we're going to go SFDX space force source push and hit enter. All right, there we go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go back again, sfdx space force org open. And then press enter. And then it'll default to open this. And I'm actually going to bring this over here. So then again, we can be side by side. Okay, we're gonna go into our sales app now that we are in Salesforce. And we're gonna create a new account. The account name is just gonna be component developers. And that's all we're going to do. It's just add the account name. 
and save. All right, we're gonna go back to setup. Or actually we're not, we're gonna go to edit page. This is going to shortcut us to the app builder. All right, and now we have our lightning components. Oh, hey, we have our custom web component, my first lightning web component. And we're just gonna drag it here to the top and you can see that it does have contact information. We're gonna click save. We're gonna activate it. And then we're gonna assign it to the org default. Click save. All right. Let's go ahead and hit back. And then, look, there's our web component that we just created. So it does have our contact information. All right, let's go ahead and validate our step to earn this badge. All right, thank you for joining me for part three of setting up our Lightning Web Component Developer Tools. Uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe and check out my channel for other videos. Go ahead and comment down below what other videos you'd like to see on my channel or if there are any questions that I could help you out by answering through a video. All right, I will catch you guys in the